Today is um, Monday, March, sorry, Tuesday, March 5th, 2024. I received this word Monday, March 4th, 2024 at 3.19 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, when I asked the Lord who specifically this word is for, he said, for my people saved and unsaved. He wants this titled Tested and Tried. As always, test every spirit and hold fast to what is good. The Lord is going to be the one to either confirm or deny that this word is coming from his spirit and none other. So this is what the Lord said. You will all be tested and tried, some for the purpose of bringing humility to a prideful heart destroying a puffed up and inflated ego, which will result in arrogance and conceit being brought low. If you are not aligned with my will, then what you try to do outside of it will be fruitless, unfulfilling, troublesome, and costly. This includes unequally yoked marriages. Most of you think this is referring to a believer and an unbeliever, but I'm also referring to becoming one with someone who is ill-equipped to handle the weight of the call I have placed on your life. An equally yoked partnership between a husband and a wife will include someone who has invested the time dying to self, someone I have chosen whose strengths make up for the areas where you have difficulty, someone to hold you accountable and keep you humble by confronting the evidence that you have become proud or unteachable someone who is not afraid to offend you but does it graciously and with love compassion and understanding the trials that are about to come upon the world will not be for the faint of heart many changes are going to be made Many people are going to be opposed and resistant to these changes. The majority will have no choice but to comply with the new set of rules and requirements in their communities, cities, states, regions, towns, and even country. The freedom that has been enjoyed in the United States of America is going to come to a screeching halt overnight. Everything that you have become accustomed to, abundance, fruitfulness, variety, security, material comforts, a lifestyle of ease and luxury is going to be taken away. America will know scarcity on a level they never have before, not even during the Great Depression. Their every move will be tracked much more than it is now. Everyone's life will be an open book to the nation who will overpower America. Many of them are already here, living amongst you. Some have been here for years. The majority you have opened your borders to. My children, the quality of your work is going to be tested. You will be stripped of all that is familiar, pulled completely out of your comfort zones. Many of you will bear witness to the nation being desolated, torn apart, burned and plundered, turned upside down. People will panic. Some will stand frozen in shock and amazement at the devastation brought upon the land. Your fortified walls will be reduced to piles of rubble and ash. This is not a random attack. It is a planned, structured, organized and strategic invasion, one that many of you were so sure wouldn't come. I am raising up disciples who won't fold under pressure, who won't compromise with wickedness and won't hesitate to expose it. I'm raising up an army who won't shrink back, who will be bold and fearless, who won't be deterred by what's happening around them because they have been chosen and called for a time such as this. 
many of you will be sent out to other nations as a prophet is not welcome in his hometown. I will prepare the hearts of the people in the places I'm sending you and give the people ears to hear what the Spirit is saying. You must die to who you once were. You must die to your old ways. You must turn your eyes away from worthless things. The earth is perishing and everything in it, and the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. People will continue to mock and scoff because I have given them over to a reprobate mind. Lawlessness will increase. Men will be lovers of selves. They will make money their God. The hearts of many will wax cold. Large numbers of people will turn away from the faith, seeking and searching for a doctrine that appeals to their itching ears. And because of this, I am giving them a strong delusion. For they rejected the truth for a lie, and many have crucified me afresh, putting me back up on the cross, and they have infuriated the spirit of grace. I am a merciful God. My kindness goes on for a thousand generations to those that love me. Those that love me obey my commands. Those that love me love my people. Those that love me know mercy and practice righteousness. But those who don't, who honor me with their lips and treat my grace as a common thing by their conduct, those who don't love me more than they love their sin, those who reject me now, I will reject before my Father in heaven. And they will be cast into outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Those who deny the gift of grace to gain the whole world and lose their soul will be cast away with the hypocrites, the adulterers, the liars, the sexually immoral, the covetous, and the ungrateful, where the worm never dies and the fire is not quenched, eternally banished from my presence separated from me forever at the mercy of the merciless on the account of choosing whom they serve these are the confirmations i was given after receiving this word jeremiah chapter 4 verses 5 to 6 he first brought me to the caption the caption read an imminent invasion blow the trumpet in the land cry gather together and say assemble yourselves and let us go into the fortified cities set up the standard toward zion take refuge do not delay for i will bring disaster from the north and great destruction the next caption that he brought me to is sorrow for the doomed nation oh my soul my soul i am pained in my very heart my heart makes a noise in me. I cannot hold my peace because you have heard, O oh my soul, the sound of the trumpet, the alarm of war. Destruction upon destruction is cried. The whole land is plundered. Suddenly my tents are plundered and my curtains in a moment. How long will I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? For my people are foolish. They have not known me. They are silly children, and they have no understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Jeremiah chapter 5, he led me to this next caption. It reads, The Justice of God's Judgment. It says, Run to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem. See now and know and seek in her open places if you can find a man, if there is anyone. Who executes judgment who seeks the truth and I will pardon her though they say as the Lord lives surely they swear falsely O Lord are not your eyes on the truth you have stricken them but they have not grieved you have consumed them but they have refused to receive correction Jeremiah chapter 5 verses 7 to 9 how shall I pardon you for this your children have forsaken me and sworn by those that are not gods when I had fed them to the full. Then they committed adultery and assembled themselves by troops in the harlots' houses. They were well-fed, lusty stallions. Everyone neighed after his neighbor's wife 
Shall I not punish them for these things, says the Lord? And shall I not avenge myself on such a nation as this? The next caption that he led me to was also in Jeremiah 5. It read, Impending destruction from the north. Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 19 was the next confirmation. And it will be when you say, Why does the Lord our God do all these things to us? Then you shall answer them, Just as you have forsaken me and served foreign gods in your land, so you shall serve aliens in a land that is not yours. Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 19. Behold, I will certainly bring calamity on this people, the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not heeded my words, nor my law, but rejected it. Jeremiah chapter 6 verses 24 to 25. We have heard the report of it. Our hands grow feeble. Anguish has taken hold of us. Pain as of a woman in labor. Don't, do not go out into the field, nor walk by the way, because of the sword of the enemy. Fear is on every side. Then he brought me to Numbers chapter 32 verse 20. Just these words, arm yourselves before the Lord for the war. Verse 22, just these words, the land is subdued. Verse 23, just these words, you have sinned against the Lord and your sin will find you out. And he brought me to Numbers 11 verse 23, just these words, now you shall see whether what I say will happen to you or not. Nehemiah chapter 2 verse 3, just these words, why should my face not be sad when the city, the place of my father's tombs lies waste and its gates are burned with fire. Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 2, I will utterly consume everything from the face of the Lord. Zephaniah 1 verse 4, just these words, I will cut off every trace of Baal from this place. Verse 6, those who have turned back from following the Lord and have not sought the Lord or inquired of him. Just those words. Revelation chapter 2. Be faithful unto death and I will give you the crown of life. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. He who overcomes shall not be hurt by the second death. Revelation chapter 3 verse 5. He who overcomes shall be clothed in white garments. And I will not blot out his name from the book of life. But I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. Revelation chapter 3 verse 15. I know your works that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish that you were cold or hot. So then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Revelation chapter 3, verses 19 to 20. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Therefore, be zealous and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and dine with him and he with me.